Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. I'm going to ask a question. Are we winning? Is the war on woke coming to an end? Is sense returning? Probably not, but maybe. Manchester police have said that they're not going to take part in the Pride event this year. They're not going to be dressing up. They're not going to be boogieing on down. There won't be a single rainbow on a single police officer or his car. They're going to patrol like real police, look like real police, and not jiggle around like a bunch of fannies, as they have done for years. It's amazing, isn't it? All of a sudden, things seem to be returning to normal. They're starting to make films that don't have agendas. They're starting to make TV shows about real events and not all about identity politics. And now the police are going to pretend to be real policemen once again. We'll see how long it lasts, but it is refreshing. But officers who will be on duty for the procession through the city tomorrow were told not to customise their uh, uh, uniforms with emblems, badges or pride flags. And that will make a change. There'll probably be one or two that'll still do the silly little jiggles because they just can't help themselves. After all, the younger ones are all Gen Z. They really don't have control over their actions, do they? But I'm sure that the older ones will be relieved that they don't have to pretend to be tolerant anymore. Not that we care. It's far too late to worry about what policemen think. We all know the absolute contempt they have for us. But at least now it seems as though the contempt, hmm, it's fair. They're contempt for everybody. Maybe there aren't any more favourites. Who knows? Maybe, of course, it's that they're scared of the far right. They don't want to cause trouble by being seen to pander to particular groups. Who knows? Maybe the bosses have seen the light and thought, you know what? If we're going to police this place, we can't be seen to be weak and effeminate. Who knows? Doesn't matter. At least now they are at least moving away from the identity politics and pushing of agendas in policing. Thanks very much. Take care. Goodbye.